In this video, we review the new hibernation functionality now available in Nerdio Manager for Enterprise version 5.6. Nerdio Manager for Enterprise now supports hibernating VMs in a personal host pool. Hibernation is a preview feature in Azure and has beta support in Nerdio Manager. Hibernation gives us an alternative to shutting down and deallocating VMs in Azure. When a VM hibernates, the VM is paused and the contents of the VM's memory is saved to the hard drive. When resumed, the memory contents is transferred back to the system's RAM and the VM resumes from the point it was paused. The advantage is a shorter resume time compared to a restart and applications that were open when the VM was paused are available again on resume. And like the allocation, there's no charge for the VM while it's in the hibernation state. There are a few items to be aware of before enabling hibernation. The only officially supported VMs for the new hibernation feature are the DAS v5, DADS v5, DS v5, and DDS v5 series VMs. Both Windows 10 and Windows 11 are supported, as well as Windows Server 2019 and 2022. Hibernation support has to be enabled on the subscription. It's currently a preview feature that may not be enabled by default. Hibernation has to be enabled on the VM when it's deployed. It can't be enabled on existing VMs. Also, it can't be disabled on existing VMs once it's enabled. Data on temporary disk does not persist while the VM enters hibernation. If application data is stored on a temporary disk, it will not be available once resumed from hibernation. Also, storing the page file on the temporary disk is not supported. Finally, during the hibernation process, the memory contents is stored on the OS disk. The OS disk needs sufficient room to write the contents of the memory. For example, if the VM had 16 gigabytes of RAM, there would need to be 16 gigabytes of free space on the hard drive to write the contents of the memory. Let's take a look at how to enable hibernation support with Nerdio Manager for Enterprise. To begin, go to the subscription and locate preview features. Search for hibernation. Select hibernation preview and register the feature. That enables the hibernation preview feature on the subscription. Repeat these steps for each subscription you plan to use the hibernation feature with. Next, we'll enable hibernation on a personal host pool. We'll go into the properties of an existing host pool. Go to VM deployment. And in VM deployment, there's an option to enable hibernation. This option won't automatically enable hibernation on session hosts in the pool. The session hosts have to meet the requirements for hibernation, including the VM series and the OS disk free space, and it will only work with personal host pools. Also, hibernation is enabled when the session host is created. Nerdio Manager for Enterprise will try to enable hibernation on newly created session hosts, but existing session hosts won't be enabled for hibernation. We'll save and close. Let's redeploy the session hosts. We'll go to Hosts and then resize reimage. We'll reimage the host so it's built with the hibernation function enabled. The session hosts have been reimaged now that hibernation has been enabled on the host pool. Once the user logs off and the session host hibernates, the session host will show a new clock icon in Nerdio Manager indicating it's hibernating. We can also see in the Azure portal that the status indicates the session host is hibernating. And finally, if we go to the end user portal, a yellow icon appears that indicates the computer is hibernating. That is how to enable hibernation on personal host pools in Nerdio Manager for Enterprise 5.6.